It's been more than 24 hours since polls closed last night. And San Francisco's nail-biting DA's race still up in the air. Let's take a look at the latest numbers. At last check, interim district attorney Susie Loftus leads Chesa Boudin by about 2,200 votes. And there is more drama tonight. Naipi Chavasquez has the election night video. The video we're about to show you required us to bleep out some curse words and blur out some rude finger gestures, all directed at the union for San Francisco police officers. <laughs> it happened at last night's election party for district attorney candidate Chesa Boudin. As San Francisco supervisor Sandra Feuer took the podium, the crowd began to raise middle fingers and chant profanities at the police union, the San Francisco POA. Several other progressive supervisors, past and present, are also seen in the video, although it's not clear the degree to which they participated in the chanting. The POA funded attack ads against Boudin in favor of his opponent, Susie Loftus. They are political enemies. I wasn't in the room when that chanting happened. I wasn't part of the chanting. Uh, neither was my campaign team. But, you know, I think it speaks to the real frustration that many voters and many elected officials even have with the POA. Ms. Fewer's unhinged attack on the 2,200 men and women of the San Francisco Police Officers Association was repugnant. SFPOA President Tony Montoya says the profane remarks make it difficult for police officers who already have dangerous jobs. She is an elected official for the city and county of San Francisco. Whether she got caught up at the moment or not, um, that's on becoming an elected official. What do San Franciscans think? It is disgusting. I don't really think much about it. Good for the supervisors. The yes. language doesn't bother you? No, it does not. Not a good example. It's similar to the president acting the way he does. Supervisor Fewer also evoked President Trump in a written statement she issued after ignoring requests for an on-camera interview. Quote, I would like to issue an apology to the 2,000 officers of the San Francisco Police Department. I am sorry for any offense that my comments may have caused. But Fewer made it clear she has no apologies for the union leadership and, quote, the most recent example of the organization's tone-deaf and poisonous rhetoric attempting to influence city elections. There is simply no room for this type of Trumpian bullying and fear-mongering in San Francisco politics. We reached out to Susie Loftus, the other DA candidate, but her campaign said she had no comment. On the Night Beat, I'm Joe Vasquez. Now, as for the winner of the DA's race, we may not know for a few more days. The Department of Elections still has 70,000 ballots to count.